I look from afar, and lo, I see the power of God coming, and a cloud covering the whole earth. Go ye out to meet him, and say, Tell us, art thou he that should come to reign over thy people Israel? High and low, rich and poor, one with another. Tell us, art thou he that should come to reign over thy people Israel? Hear, O thou shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest Joseph like a sheep. Tell us, art thou he that should come to reign over thy people Israel? Stir up thy strength, O Lord, and come. Tell us, art thou he that should come to reign over thy people Israel? Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Tell us, art thou he that should come to reign over thy people Israel? Come thou Redeemer of the earth, and manifest thy virgin birth, let every age adore in full, such birth befits the God Father. Adam and Eve rebel against God and are cast out of the Garden of Eden. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God say you shall not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not die, 
For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to their eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. He said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, what is this that you have done? And the woman said, the serpent tricked me and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head and you will strike his heel. comforts his people and calls on them to prepare for redemption. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, 
and every mountain and hill be made low, and uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice cries out, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their consistency is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of our Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain. O Zion, herald of good tidings, lift up your voice with strength. O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings, lift it up, do not fear, say the cities of Judah. Here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother's sheep. A new covenant is promised, which will be written in our hearts. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, a covenant that they broke. Though I was their husband, says the Lord. But this is a covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer shall they teach one another or say to each other, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest says the Lord, for I will forgive their inequity and remember their sin no more.
God promises a new heaven and a new earth, for I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The former things shall not be remembered or come to mind, but be glad and rejoice forever in what I am creating. For I am about to create Jerusalem as a joy and its people as a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and delight in my people. No more shall the sound of weeping be heard in it or the cry of distress. No more shall there, there be in it an infant that lives but a few days or an old person who does not live out a lifetime. For one who dies at a hundred years will be considered a youth and one who falls short of a hundred will be considered accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For like the days of a tree shall the days of my people be, and my chosen shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain or bear children for calamity, for they shall be offspring blessed by the Lord and their descendants as well. Before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox, but the serpent, its food shall be dust. They shall not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountains, says the Lord. to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of a greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. 
and this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go ye forth, and the Lord, he will be with you. Stand ye still, and ye shall see the salvation of the Lord. Tomorrow go ye forth, and the Lord, he will be with you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Tomorrow go ye forth, and the Lord, he will be with you. O God, who makes us glad with the yearly expectation of your coming. Grant that we, who with joy receive your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, may without fear behold him when he shall come to be our judge, even your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. May the grace of Jesus Christ who is the same today, yesterday, and forever, lead you to the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and prepare you for the greater glory which is to come. Amen. Amen.